Christ, man, it's all about ego. This whole town runs on ego. Yeah, I'm Bobby. Do you think your approach was different in period films like Magic in the Moonlight and the current cafe society? No, because I would, I would, uh, you know, I have a part of me that would love to have lived at a different time. Uh -huh. It's just that as soon as I get into that and let myself get carried away with the nostalgia and the fantasy, then the reality starts to encroach and you say, well, you know, when you went to the dentist, they didn't have the Novocaine, and, and if you had an operation, you know, you go to your colonoscopy, they couldn't do that for you. So, you know, reality sets in, and reality is always the fly in every ointment, Very every good. delightful ointment. I was in Grange Village last week watching some stand-up. What New York show do you believe put you up at the first big level of your career? What was the venue and what was the routine? For me, it was the bitter end. Ah. I started at a place called the Duplex, and I got my sea legs there, you know, standing up every night, no salary, just working to audiences of 50 or five people. Wow. And, and then I, I played the bitter end, and I emerged at the bitter end. The press started to notice me, crowds started to come down, nice. and, I, and, and it really... That's brilliant. Crazy. So finally, how do you think you define romantic love now, differently than when you first fell in love? Oh, it's the same. It's always been great and foolish, and, uh, and it doesn't work uh, most of the time, <laughs> but, uh, but you get a, a short buzz from it that goes on for a period of time that's like no other high. What do you think characterizes his career at this point? Wow. Uh, he's uh, amazing in his ability to do this year after year. If you see, as I'm sure you do, many movies that come out and are funded by somebody and they're terrible, to be able to do this year after year is a special uh, gift. And he writes and uh, has just got through, just got through with the television series that he's done. So to be able to do that is a very special gift. So what have you learned about the movie business in the last three years that have really surprised you? Uh, that I should stay away from it other than this. This is my only involvement. It's a one-off with Woody. I have no interest at all in being involved in uh, more movie making than with Woody. It's plenty. Michael, I have one question for you. You have so many educational disciplines and have done a variety of different types of jobs in your careers. What skill set do you think still serves you best to the present day and why? Uh, I would say uh, probably not one of my degrees, which are said differently if I had, could go back to school I think what I would want is a psychology degree because in managing people and building relationships with clients, that's probably uh, the most important skill. And you end up developing that on your own, whether you had that as your education or not. Focusing upon that over time, I think, is probably what's he, been most important. He doesn't important. have to go back to school to do that. He knows how to do it, okay? He knows. <laughs>